cow out there that calved outside? We sorted them up yesterday. Calf's up and walking, but I'm sure it's a little cold. It's pretty chilly this morning, so we're gonna go grab her, put her in the heater. <laughs> can't believe number one that a cow had a calf outside because we sorted them yesterday but number two that the calf's up walking around because it's pretty cold well that just goes to show you that I don't always sort 100%. We just had them in last night. I sorted them. And then last evening I looked again and I texted Cole and I said, we're going to have to get 052 in pretty soon while she calved overnight. Don't you know it? The trouble with trying to visualize which ones are going to calve and which ones aren't is sometimes they don't get a full bag until after they calve. But and that can also change very quickly and that's why we try to sort twice a week but that isn't too bad I guess that's the first one I missed since uh, I think we've had one or two outside out of like almost 50 I went to pick him up and his ear poked me in the eye hope I don't get pink eye it's alive. It's got one tip of its ear, just not even a quarter inch froze. We're going to get it in the hot box for a while. You guys haven't seen what the hot box looks like up close. We'll explain that a little bit too. Well, the calf is going to be just fine. He's spunky and he's healthy. It's just the very tip of his ear is yep. a little froze. Yep. So he might be a little ugly at the oh, end of this, but I think he's going to be pretty dang good. That little tip might thaw out if it's just, I mean, it's not even a quarter inch, so oh. big calf. So this heater's got a floor in it, so the heat gets all the way around underneath it. And uh, we just close it in there. He's a spunky guy. Come on, get in. Let me show you. I don't know if I told you, but the other day I had one that popped that door wide open. Really? Yeah. As that cast warmed up in the heater, we got two new ones in the white building that we're going to have to give the optimizer gel and tag them and do all that fun stuff. Of course, get chores done, and then we'll chase that mom up and get her back with her calf after it's done being in the heater. Great way to start the day. A little cardio. So we had three calves overnight and they're all out of cows, so we're getting into it now. Not out of people? Okay. <laughs> Not out of heifers, Cole. <laughs> oh, yeah. I see. I got a slappy. I'm not afraid to use it. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, guys. I think that means he's good if he gets himself out of the heater. Yeah, no kidding. That's a good sign. Oops. Gotta put a cinder block on the top there. So Dad went to go feed. I'm gonna deliver these pears. It's a divide and conquer kind of day. We're only hauling four pear right now. 
and that's something we kind of started about three or four years ago when it was really muddy at home see we used to calve everything at home leave it there until pastures were ready and then haul it out but then you know we would there'd be times we'd have over 100 pair all in the same field and you're just worried about sickness and then the pens getting muddy and so a few years ago we started hauling pears out as they were calving getting things in cleaner areas and then also that day we did decide to decide to move the rest of the pears to pasture there wasn't over 100 of them there was just you know 20 30 or 40. It takes a lot of small trips but we think our calves are healthier Like they paired up pretty well. We're getting pretty low on corn. I guess we better start selling tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, I said I wasn't gonna pull any corn out of the bins this year and put in the bunker, but that ain't gonna happen. Well, the good news about that is corn went down about 70 cents. <laughs> you know. So we can almost afford to feed it to cattle. Although at the time that I was feeding it, it was 70 cents higher. And if I had sold it, I probably didn't need to feed cattle this winter. But gosh, I love it. There's nothing like getting up in the morning and... Seeing a dead one out in the feedlot. Filling the feed wagon about five times. Ellie sees the calves out. She's in attack mode. Later today, we'll be sorting off the ones without tags because they aren't our home raised, and we will be selling them tomorrow. Pretty exciting. Starting to get rid of some critters, cashing in on the hard work and the, and the feed we put in them. So we'll be selling a chunk out of this pen, the big feed lot over at Jeff's place, and then Jeff is selling his calves, and I'm selling my calves I got. 32 of them and that's kind of my one big farming check every year Toasty. I guess it's 90 Yeah, I think 92 Okay Want me to see this? Yeah, yeah That's our first power tool calf. Hey, buddy. We're going to have them big cars in here. Yeah, I'll we'll put them in the big cars. How big a boy are you? Pretty big. Bye. Ah. <laughs> you called it. Yeah. So we're going to get out of Sure. Come on, big guy. All right, we're gonna go chase the mom in. All these gates are ready to go. Starting here all the way out to the calving pasture. Big calf. Hey, Dad, is your four-wheeler running? It's ready. No, well, it's kind of a slow walk. Well, you better go catch it. Yeah, my refrigerator's running, though. Ha, 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 ha. There's your clave. I have to load out a great deal of critters tomorrow from here. 
and we got a big frozen snow pile making it so we can't open that up all the way another one of those things which we would have dealt with before it got frozen solid so we're gonna do some funky stuff and try to get rid of that snow because we can't fit a skid loader underneath the frames of those uh, gates so be ready get ready to be thoroughly entertained so we're gonna use we're gonna use starting fluid instead of the primer because the primer's got a hole in it there right no oh that was that something was, else that's no that's the okay I pushed it a few times there. okay so let's see if it does this need That's the ideas you've come up with in the middle of the night when you're not sleeping, stuff like that. Woo! Shout out to mom. Thank you. Something in your mouth. Yeah. I just salt it out there. Taste, taste it. it. Yep. Tammy and I went to uh, the state fair and watched some shows this year, and the band Perry was the headliner, but before that was Laney Wilson. And she's getting real popular now because of Yellowstone and all that. But anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and the song of the day today is going to be Heart Like a Truck. I got a heart like a truck. I kind of think she sounds like Reba a little bit. It's been drugged through the mud. So my heart not so much drugged through the mud, but my mind sure has been drugged through the mud a lot. Someone commented something rude the other day that kind of drugged my heart through the mud. Oh, he's sensitive people. You're hurting his feelings. Yeah, you know, we're just trying to put stuff out there for people to enjoy. He said and he we don't hurt. always... He called me a name. You know, you know we're not... We don't, we don't say we're doing it right or what. And when you say, why don't you do it that way? Well, because I'm not you and I didn't think of that or I don't like it that way. I have my reasons for some of it. He called me the three-letter word for butt. Head. I was just trying to help the claves. Blank head, but okay. so we had two bowls and one heifer today. Yep, twenty-two bowls and twenty-two heifers. Oh yeah, I reckon. That's a good name for a big old boy. Okay, so the girl is Hope, and the two boys are Marty and Sawyer. And if you're new here and wondering why we're naming calves, we're just naming them after mostly uh long time viewers and commenters and friends of the channel normally we don't name calves but it's our way of saying thanks i guess to uh our good friends from it's our way around of giving the world. something back without giving anything back other than notoriety and i'm all about that okay straight back oh Well, Starless Station is on the way back home, so I guess we'll get a sandwich. Sandwich.
buddy's cabin. We'll get some lunch. And when we come back out, we got 100 head to sort through. Holy smokes, guys, you're in for a treat. Hey. Okay, if you could all get out of there, that'd be awesome. Hey. That's awesome stuff. We went in for a quick 30 minute lunch and we checked them before we went in. That thing must have just slipped right out of her. We got a heifer. Got some little baby teats on it. Wowzers. Oh! And down goes Frazier. A little bit ago, we just got fresh in a new calf shelter that we're gonna be trying out. We're gonna shoot some bedding in it. This calf shelter is from CW Welding. All of our windbreaks are from that same company. They make some pretty awesome stuff. This calf shelter is sitting over there. And uh, Colin over there, who runs the ship, he was betting me that all of our calves are gonna go into his calf shelter and walk out of those big open front ones because it's uh, that much better. And so we're running a little test. I'm sure those calves will like it, so we're gonna check it out. Right here at a Dimmick, South Dakota. And he'd, he'd put them up against anything like an open front. When he was showing me around, I can definitely see how, uh, how a calf would like it in there. It's pretty, pretty nice. This way you open so you can shoot bedding in there real nice. And then if you have a big winter storm coming, you can shove a bunch of calves in there and shut that so they don't get out and go climbing a snowbank. Okay, the time's come. We're gonna we're gonna get that middle pan of critters up, sort off a chunk, because we're getting ready for tomorrow when we're selling. I'll be selling my 30-something calves, and Dad'll be selling over 100. gonna be a really busy day tomorrow 7 30 three semi trucks are rolling in to load out calves we're gonna be over at the north farm loading up and then we'll stop here to pick up the ones that we sorted off well both herefords are done calving they both have some pretty nice calves that one's definitely a smaller heifer a little more weight on the face been a good day fun day next video is gonna be a fun one so thanks for watching we'll see you next time have a good one You got pooed on. <laughs>